All right. Yeah, we're doing some wacky stuff today. So we're out here in Minnesota. CF Moto brought us out for a little test ride, some of the new things. You'll see that at the end of the video. But today, we're doing some snowmobiling here in this beautiful October weather. It's like 60 degrees, bro. Yeah, you guys know I love snowmobiling. One of the worst things about sports, you can't do it all year round. Or can you? We're gonna find out. <laughs> so, you guys, you know, saw us do some snowmobile stuff last year, right? You may have seen a little bit of water skipping. Maybe you're aware that you can drive a snowmobile over water in a straight line. Turns out you can actually race them on the water. You can turn them on the water. You can do laps on the water. Oh boy. People don't understand this. I don't know that we understand it, but we're gonna try today. So we're out here <laughs> with Grant and Erica Whitaker. Hey guys. Snowmobile <laughs> watercross racers. And uh, <laughs> that's what it looks like. That's a watercross sled. Lots of modifications to make these things do what they do. We'll go over that at some point here in a little bit, but. It's skinny, the track's not aggressive, and there's no seat. That's what I'm seeing right off the bat. The main point is they thought it was a good idea to let us try to ride these things. True. I, just, I don't know what they're thinking, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm jacked as well, so we're not riding this one, right? We're riding yep, a couple yeah. out here. A couple of them out there. I got the entry level, we call it the Sea Cadillac. So that's the one we start everybody out on. You go do some laps, get your confidence up, then we'll stick you on more of the pro level builds with a lot more power. Damn. Let's go check out the Sea Cadillac. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I love it. Going from this one to this one, that's yeah. almost painful. Vast difference. Yeah, and the reason we call it that is because it just floats on the water. You just hold the thing taped the whole time and just have a blast out there. No kidding. <laughs> yep. Wow. Okay. I love it. This looks somewhat familiar to what we have in our shop. Yep. Old two stroker. Renditions. It resembles a snowmobile. Yeah. It does. Wow. Uh, the, wa the, the air pickup is interesting. Just the. Just right the there. And that doesn't get wet? <laughs> the carbs don't get wet? No, only if you sink, but. So how bad Ooh. is it when you sink one? Like, what's the recovery? Um, it's how really, big a deal is it? It's really it? not that bad. Uh, something like this, you can get run in about five minutes. Um, okay. You know, the EFI sleds take a little bit longer with the sensors, but you know, draining your gas, your oil, and things like that are cleaning out sensors. But you know, once we're in race mode, you get a couple people helping, you get a run in like five minutes. So. Dang. Okay, okay, okay. So we're, we're learning things as we go. I was our, thinking to the pond. Our, I yeah. thought I had an idea of what was going on here. I think there's a lot more to it. The skis okay. don't actually do anything really in the front. They're kind of hovering above the water. Okay. All it's done, it's like old wisdom, you know, on how this is how it steers the rudder. So you want this to release in the straightaway so there's no drag, but in the corner, it's gonna dive in and dip to help you hook around to turn. So really weird, but. <laughs> What? Yeah, water cross. <laughs> I thought you were just like having an homage to Deco here or something, but no, no this that's is real. Like Passed down wisdom. Like there's no how to. You just kind of had to figure it out. But Dude, sorry, what? I was trying to grill the sport. Like, Steve, I had no idea. <laughs> I was so lost already. I was so <laughs> engineering involved in that. All right, yeah. now actually to the lake, right? Yep. To the lake. All right. To the pond. Well, there she is, boys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we've gotten ourselves into. This is awesome. This though. looks like a painting. Yeah, this doesn't look so actually pretty. real. Minnesota is just a beautiful place, turns out. It really is. I like it here. I like it here more every time we visit. Yeah, seriously. Plus, with the sweet sound of two strokes in the background. Ain't nothing to be mad about. Nope. <laughs> I think you just take right off. Yeah, this is the launch pad and also the landing pad, is my understanding. You leave from here, you give her some throttle, and then you're on the water. Hopefully doing a good job. Yeah, even got reverse still. Those are sick, dude. They're awesome sleds. Very cool. This is the recovery boat. Okay. So you mess up and you sink one of these fuckers. I don't pretend to know how it works. I see it's got a couple winches There's on There's a boom. It. Yeah, you drive over the sled, you hook up to it, you winch her off the water, I guess. Let's just hope we don't use the winch. <laughs> That's like... That's a buoy. Yeah. So remember when recovery. I was going to water skip at, uh, what was it? At the sandlot. The sandlot, yeah. yeah. We had a rudimentary version of this, so. Wow. Makes sense, really well thought out. <laughs> These are so sick looking. They're kind of like the same build, just his and hers. It's just wildly different wraps. These just, yeah, they're crazy looking sleds. So cool. And then there's the sea Cadillac. <laughs> That's more our style. Yeah. Or, <laughs> you know, cheap letters. All right, well, the sea Cadillac is prepared-ish. Yep. Grant, what did you do, what did you just say seconds ago? I said if you're ready to just send it, you know, I might as well go for it. 
<laughs> he asked if I wanted some sort of tutorial or some visual, and I think we've collectively decided it's just a lot funner and funnier maybe <laughs> if I just try it with no yeah. idea what I'm doing. Maybe I'll get a couple pointers and we'll see what happens. Yeah, can you give us some pointers quick? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, don't come to a complete stop. So if you stop, you'll sink. Smart, yep. yeah, makes sense. Yeah. All, All right. right, so feet. Back so of the feet tunnel. Positioning. So this Wait, one's just set up to turn, right? So you have a foot back here. You can kind of start, you know, like this, but to turn, you know, you're going to want to get your weight over. Yep. These okay. skis are going to kind of just kind of hover above the water a little bit. It's okay if they come down and touch a little bit, but for the most part, the sled's going to naturally be the whole time. Okay. Um, and so he's set up for right turns only. Right turns so only. So if you're going to if you're going to right turn, you got to kind of get out left to yeah, get you some just room. Go, it's a decent jaunt. You just go straight for a little ways and then just kind of cut it as you turn there, and then you know you can just hug the. The lily pads in the tree line, you know, and just do some big circles here. No problem. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> okay, so on this dog, pretty much heavy throttle the whole yep. time. Yeah. You want to stay in yeah, it. Yeah, just it had uh, boys and reeds in it and an EPI clutch kit and just a stock 700. Okay. So. And we're going to launch her pretty hard from here. Not from a dig. You can kind of roll in like a half pipe, and as soon as your skis kind of get towards the water, just and crease it wide open. And just down anticipate there, okay. Like a half pipe, dude. You know our half yeah. pipe experience. A lot oh, of yeah. people go to hit it on this, though, and they fly off the side because this will, it has a lot of torque. She jumps pretty yeah. good. I mean, that's yeah, a ski do. I know you're not used to that, but. <laughs> Touch her in, smack it, get it on plane, turn right, yeah. land it, don't kill anybody, no big deal. <laughs> no, you'll be it's fine. If you start to dry her out, we'll do it again. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Start her up, boys. I'm freaking jacked. Yes. We got the warm up uh, oh my deal. Here. I am so jacked. This, this is going to be ridiculous. so weird. That smell is getting me ready for winter, though, already. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's mid-October, yeah. we gotta get ourselves prepared. with you i thought for sure man i'm nervous i'm gonna sink this thing but you had it bro Whew. we're setting you up for success here we're not gonna you know, set you up to sink you guys are killing it that <laughs> is so wild yeah see how she just kind of cruises though yeah see cadillac but it rips too yeah, like does. you can catch some speed oh, okay. <laughs> holy smokes the first time i went out i'm like okay we're on plane we're good I'll lean into it a little. Okay, it's not turning yet. Okay, shore's coming. I better start leaning. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just carved super hard out yeah. of nowhere. 
Wow. I'm so jacked I'm out of breath. That was yeah, so you just fun. hold your breath the whole time. Holy moly. Uh, hey, good I work. While I had a good little stint, I'd just bring it back. Bring it back. We'd have our little high point and check the box. Yeah. It scared me at first. got bogged a little, and then you came out of it. I'm like, yes. Dude, it did bog. Yep, yep. She pulled through. Sea Cadillac. Hey, good work, dude. Wow. Okay, so Steve, you're just doing it. Oh, yeah, I got to try it. Like, I feel like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, honestly. So, it kind of is. Yeah, I mean, you got it. The only thing that I would say is that maybe. I had to transfer my weight and pull on the sled a little harder than I expected to make it turn. So like when you're ready to turn, like you can throw some weight into it. Get it? All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, just go either do a lap or one or two or whatever, maybe three, you know, one up him, you know, whatever. That sounds great. Yep. Yeah. You got this, man. You got this. Probably just go out and embarrass myself immediately. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to do it today uh -huh. at some point. I feel for him. It's a nervous moment. It's such a weird thing to do yeah. to take a snowmobile out on a lake with the intention of riding it around in circles. Yeah. Yeah. It is very weird. Not what you're used to. He's a good snowmobile rider, though. I think he'll He's got it, dude. He's got it. Yeah, just wait till I <laughs> yeah, Steve! Oh there for a minute hopefully he's okay <laughs> I'm sure all right that's uh, off that. so he either sank way out there or maybe he beached it darn it crap that was scary it looked like he was going about 90 towards the woods yeah i think he just didn't want to back out of the throttle at all and uh just wasn't throwing quite enough weight into it to get her to get to her Wisconsin. to steer <laughs> We're going to rescue Steve. Yeah, I'm gonna go see what happened. We're hoping that he at least got it on shore, you know, and kept the thing dry. No big deal either way. Another wa little water rescue here, dude. This is awesome. I even love this. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I got to get towards the back of the boat. Get her on plane, He's dude. He's a little guy. It's only a 16 footer. You know? We'll get her on plane. <laughs> Sea movement. I think he made it sure. Not a sink. Oh, he's alive, so that's good. I think he probably. <laughs> I was just afraid to get it in too tight and sink it. This felt safer. Like it just definitely wasn't carving as hard as I thought it was, like you, you can said. Off a little, but you know. You were going so fast, dude. You were ripping. You were uh, ripping. Yeah, this I didn't realize this stuck out there, honestly. Like, oh. <laughs> So this guy, right. Sean, said he's never never ridden that one and stayed dry. <laughs> that is true. He did say that earlier, but he is a racer. He's got a lot more experience than we do. So a little bit of a tight situation. He's going to try to buzz her out of here and we'll uh, go reset. You're vlogging for the side-by-side -side vlog. <laughs> Steve! Yeah! I, hey, you didn't sink! It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Slightly embarrassing, but what can you do? 
I just, I got to the point, like it was a lot harder to turn than I expected. And I got to the point I was so far out there, like I was worried about trying to like just really throw it in and sinking it. Yeah, like that felt like a safer option. So. Okay, actually, good job, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely yeah, safer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, You're fine. All right, what happened, so dude? Awesome I got out there and like out. too late. Like, I realized I just like basically got all my weight on my left foot okay. for some reason, yeah, just subconsciously it wasn't turning. Yeah. And then I got out there and I pretty much just would have had to really like tip it in and probably sink it because I'm not good enough. Awesome. So just like beaching it seemed safer. So that's what I did. I just rolled it up on beach and left it, waited for rescue. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. I definitely like. Once I got up on plane, I was working the throttle yeah. a bit. Like, you can definitely slow the sled down, and as long as you don't dig it in super tight. Like, mm -hmm. You were going towards the tree so fast. Uh, I was yeah, so too nervous. Fast. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, and there is like a peninsula out there that's not obvious from here, and it made me nervous, even though it wasn't really in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Peninsulas make me nervous, too, hey, all the time. Good. Nothing's wrecked. Yeah. yeah. We're still alive. Round two? Yeah. Kill the Cadillac. <laughs> Come on, Steve. There we go. All right, so he's setting it down now a little bit. Seriously. <laughs> hey, nice good work. job, man. When you get back from Glamis, don't be surprised if I have one built. <laughs> it's awesome, right? <laughs> I told you, y'all coming back. Oh, yeah. Y'all coming back. That is a blast. Yeah. Holy crap. We got to get we got to get jerseys. Why don't we have jerseys? We're just losers, dude. Look at this. Losers, sick. You know? A little shitty skipper. Oh yeah. You look good. Sick. I like it. I, I didn't like earn it. it, but so I mean, <laughs> team player. I'll I'll take one. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm just part, I'm part of the game, dude. Honorary member, dude. <laughs> I'm like the water boy out here. <laughs> right, just one, one more time, more time first, <laughs> but no. I, you know, the theme of the day has been just send it. So, you know. so they're gonna go out in the big dogs out here. <laughs> yeah. So these are high horsepower. High horsepower, fully built. Couple pro riders you can get an idea of what you know this. What it should look like. Looks like when it's done properly. He okay. 200 horsepower earlier. I don't know which sled that is, but it's a lot of horsepower. Yeah, that's built sled. <laughs> this should be cool. It's exciting. Clean rig. Super clean. Super clean. Yeah. Chris found his sled. Look at the exhaust chute straight up. I know. Makes sense. You probably don't want it in the water. Yeah. Keep it clear. Yeah.
awesome. That was badass. <laughs> that was sick. That was sick. <laughs> just like the freaking ability to lean over on that thing. Oh, is. Oh yeah, you just trust her and just send it. Just absolutely yeah, ripping out there. And the little bounce wheelie. Yeah, yeah so cool. Badass. <laughs> Figure you got a little Kodak courage, you gotta send it. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, I like it, I like it. They offered Doug the orange one. Hopefully we don't need this. <laughs> that might be one of the biggest traps I've ever seen. This is a rowdy looking machine. I think you can go pretty slow and recover with these. So Yeah, judging by the turns they were doing and yeah. stuff. So much for the old Cadillac. You got this, dude. Graduating up to a modern race sled. <laughs> Your second time uh, officially water skipping and you're already uh, doing that. Just uh, just right into it. Just, you know, jump right in. That's kind of been our style and everything we do. And uh, it works out most yeah, of the like time. Most of the time. Most It'll be good. Oh yeah, they got, they got the recipe over there. Okay, no problem. No problem. breathing so hard <laughs> that is bad ass yeah dude holy smokes you did so good there's a couple times where like you get into your own wake a little bit yeah and it's like okay i got something different to deal with now <laughs> like i can't seriously i can't imagine racing it's nuts it's these like, competitively yeah. close to other people we go through like, like three four foot waves and then chop you know of it oh yeah, my gosh stay loose through it all i'm super jacked i'm being able to go out there and do it but racing, like, unimaginable. How cool. Whew, I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> well, to cap things off here, Steve's gonna avoid the trees. Yep. And stay on the water with this one. The, his second run on the old Cadillac. Beautiful. Went super well. So, I think he's good. Just a clean rig, dude. Clean rig. Wild machine. Absolutely. I'm so excited for Steve. All right, Steve. around to try to figure out what's going on. Wow. He's about to hit his wake here. Nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love it, dude. The No Sink Club continues. No Sink Club. <laughs> that thing's nasty. Yeah. She rounded it. She like barks. in a way easier to ride. Just cause I mean you'll just do whatever you want, it seems like, but holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. It's intense, right? I know for like five minutes afterwards I was trying to play it cool, but I'm over here like oh, <laughs> shaking. <laughs> like this one's intense even going in a straight line. Yeah. It's, it looked quick. Good work, man. Holy crap. Thank you guys so yeah, no much. <laughs> Wow. That was nuts. That was nuts. I feel pretty good about it right now. We probably should quit. Just be done, dude. <laughs> so we, that, real high note. <laughs> Super high note. I think. There's things we know about this. One is we got to go drag some of our old crap out of building three. Build one of them. And make it go on. Yeah. One or two of those. Easy. Needs to happen pretty quick because that's a blast. <laughs> that's pretty much That's pretty much my takeaway. Can that we take it out like on Lake Huron or something? I think we can. Probably once. <laughs> yeah, definitely once. You guys ever do that, like a real lake? Yeah, we try to not really badmouth the race series or something, but I'd love to go urban bomb some lakes, and we totally could. But. We could take it down like the Saginaw River, dude. Respectable people, the Saginaw River, that's what it is. You guys on the jet skis, couple sleds yeah. out there, we'll do a race. Urban bombing, makes sense. Done. I, that might be a bad thing to say on YouTube. Anyway. Uh, we'll get through it. But, but yeah, <laughs> seriously, thank you guys so much. So Grant and Erica Whitaker, Mr. and Mrs. Snowbacks, Look them up. They're out here doing awesome stuff. Oh, yeah. Letting us do awesome stuff. This is badass. This is hard to explain how badass this is. No, it looked badass. All right, good. Well, maybe you get it then, but... Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, thank you guys, you know, as always. Um, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be out here in the position to be able to experience things like this and do all the wild stuff that we get to do. So if you're supporting us by watching these videos or subscribing, donating on Patreon, buying those parts from Steve or buying the merchandise or buying through that Rocky Mountain link, seriously, all of those things come together and, uh, you know, keeps us out here having the time of our lives. So thank you guys so much. I think uh, this video is probably right before we head out for a banger of a trip. The Glamis, baby. Wild crew. Yeah. It's going to be nutty. So see you guys there. See ya. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. Whew. <sighs>